stay alert. This is where they said to find them. But there's no sign of the Kadishtu yet. A very long time ago, there lived a primordial goddess, a most benevolent mother who gave birth to many gods. She was a kind mother, and noble. She disliked conflict and violence. But then, the horned god came. Seeking his throne, he slew all in his path, and the mother was cut down. Since his rise, the throne has been usurped by descendants of that horned god, for eons upon eons. The perception of that fair, beautiful, free world of chaos became warped and perverted by the reign of so-called order. We want it back. We wish to restore that glorious world. Oh, it has been a long time. I am grateful we could meet this way. So grateful to meet you again, Nahobino. Dragon Slayer. Come now, don't you already know? We seek to destroy this world, and to that end, we will resurrect the fallen goddess, the Queen of Chaos. The others have gathered the necessary Magatsuhi. Only one thing remains. For the summoning, we require... You, Nahobino. As one of the Dragon Slayer's lineage, your death will serve as a crucial and appropriate sacrifice. Magic is understood to operate based on certain rules. Two similar entities can influence each other. Cause leads to effect. But the effect also has a bearing on the cause. The Horned God slayed the Serpent, or the Dragon, as some call it. But by using this principle, the Serpent can be revived. By offering the life of the Horned God that slayed the Serpent, the Slain will be reawakened from death. That's why the Kaddish too need a sacrifice. To summon the Goddess of Chaos. Yoko? Yoko Hiromine, like us, has endured suffering at the hands of the Horned God. Now, the time has come for you to prepare the Nahobino for sacrifice.
Is that so? Then what of God's misdeeds against you? And surely you haven't forgotten that your own freedom is at stake as well. I know. I still want my revenge and my freedom. But sacrificing him isn't the right way to get either. Oh my, what a precious display of selflessness. But I'm afraid it's too late to turn back. If you refuse, then the sacrifice shall be carried out by us. The Kaddish do.
Tahobino. You fought so well. <laughs> and failed. Can you hear her? The voice of our beloved goddess. There is nothing now that can stop her return! Time has come. The ultimate end. The ultimate beginning. Descendant of the once ruler of old. Here and now, we offer up your life, O oh Dragon Slayer God. Let the Queen of Chaos rise once again! Yoko Hiromine, you are fated to become a goddess. Allow me to remind you how you were wronged by this world. You developed your ability to fight demons, believing it a just cause. But you had no place in Bethel. Your teacher spent decades learning what you perfected in but a few years, and they feared you would surpass them. Though they offered shallow praise, they continued to assign you ever deadlier missions. They envied your talent and secretly wished for your death so as to protect their own foolish pride. Yes, they were pitiful human beings, but still. I have no doubt there must have been kind souls among them as well. But would you not agree that the social structure itself is to blame for producing such wretched humans? In the ancient times of chaos, humans and gods were free and equal. But when the Horned God came into power and the world of order was created, the system of control brought harm to humanity. Remember our goal. You must reclaim your power as a goddess and fulfill your purpose. As a goddess, you will guide Tiamat to the Empyrean, 
where the throne shall be returned to chaos. Submit or rebel? Have you forgotten the agreement we reached when you stood at that fateful crossroads? I remember. But I didn't want to get him or Tao involved. I'm afraid it is too late for the girl. And the Nahobino's sacrifice is necessary to summon Tiamat. The humans you care for will soon be but memories, Yoko Hiromine. There will be nothing tangible left for you in this world. Now, I ask you once again to fulfill your pledge. Reclaim your power as a goddess, and bring chaos to this world. I'm sorry, young man. I swore I would protect you, but I fear I can no longer do so. If you hadn't joined with me, you wouldn't have to suffer this fate. Indeed, if not for me, you might have avoided being drawn into the Kadishtu's dark machinations altogether. I don't know what to say, except that I'm sincerely glad to have met you. Our time together may be coming to an end, but it will never disappear. Accept defeat. You must live. Even if you're alone, you must go. She is waiting.
I wish I could have saved you. Algami is gone, but... At least... You made it back. That's something. The future of the world is in your hands. So please, please keep it safe. You know, Yuzuru, I've been trying to figure out how to do right in this world. And after I met you and him, I felt pretty good for a while. But I guess feeling good isn't enough. That angel taught me something truly important. You can't rely on others to carry out your justice. Ichiro. If you want justice, you need power. And power is exactly what he gave me. I'm free. I don't need to live my life depending on others. No. I get it. The drive for strength to do something. But why are you... You want to know why I'm doing this? <laughs> you really don't know. I'm here to stop you from making a dumb mistake like becoming a Nahobino. What? It just came to me! I have to use my power for justice. I have to use it for order. So you see, I can't just let my friend become a Nahobino and threaten that order, right, Abdiel? That is correct. As decreed by our lord, the Nahobino cannot be permitted to exist. If you underestimate your enemy, you'll get yourself killed. <laughs> Sorry to say it, buddy, but looks like you made the wrong enemy. Ah, a surprise. It would appear you're still alive. Hold up, Abdiel. So where's Algami? He bite it? <laughs> Guess that makes you normal now. <sighs> Ain't you lucky. Not even worth the time it'd take to kill you. Atito was. He said he was gonna be a Nahobino and make a new world or some shit. Such defiance cannot be allowed. Thus he paid for his arrogance with his life. If you can no longer become a Nahobino, there is no need to kill you. Return now to Tokyo. Live your life in peace. Damn it all. You. 
where is he? Where's Atsuta? We came in pursuit of the Kadishtu. Together we thought we could stop them. But after the Demon King was slain, it seems Abdiel decided to eradicate the Nahobino. She hit us when we least expected. We didn't stand a chance against her. Are you... alone? What happened to Aogami? I see. He protected you. If only I could have done the same. There's only one thing to do now. Young man, I want you to come along with me. We can't entrust this world to Bethel. And we can't let the Kadishtu run free either. That's why I need you, since you've fought as a Nahobino before. Aogami's true name is Susano-o, a proto-fiend created by Bethel, Japan. He was meant to inherit the Amatsukami's full power. And no Aogami-type units are left at the Japan branch. However, there is one of the same family, the Sukuyomi type, which specializes in domestic affairs and guiding the Japanese government. While we analyzed Aogami, we replicated the system for becoming a Nahobino and outfitted it for the Sukuyomi type. What I mean is, fusion with this proto-fiend should be possible. If you're willing, I would ask you fuse with the Sukuyomi type. I would ask you to take up this fight once more. Thank you. In order to lead well in times of crisis, Tsukuyomi maintained a human appearance while managing domestic affairs here in Japan. It was necessary to serve the nation. The Tsukuyomi type is at present managing the country. In fact, serving as Prime Minister. Yes, I am that Tsukuyomi type. Young man, let us fight together.
Now then, young man, forward. Young man, would you mind if we returned to the front of the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building? I would like to look at that place one more time. Atsuta joined me in becoming a Nahobino so that he could protect Tokyo. I thought doing so would fulfill the will of the Amatsukami as well. But Atsuta lost his life at the hands of Abdiel and Dazai. Now that the one with my knowledge is gone, I can no longer claim the throne. As of this moment, I swear to follow you in Algami's place. I found you at last. Oh, there's something different about you. Do you remember me? Ah, splendid. However, I'm afraid your performance has left something to be desired. You have not defeated the Kadishtu, and they have succeeded in resurrecting the Great Serpent of Chaos. Such a nefarious threat to our Lord's order cannot be allowed to remain in this world. As you have failed to deal with the Kadishtu, I ask that you take responsibility and halt the Serpent's machinations. There is someone controlling Tiamat. Whether it is the Kadishtu or someone else entirely, I do not know. After Tiamat appeared at the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building, she broke the wards protecting Shakan. Shakan is a sacred space within Bethel. It could also be considered the source of power for the Shekinah glory. I have received word that Tiamat's master has infiltrated those forbidden grounds. Make your way to Shakan. If you can find the intruder, then you will also find Tiamat. But take heed. This is a holy sanctuary within Bethel. Abdiel has already defeated the Demon King, and now she has made her way there to eliminate the intruder. It is likely she will view you as an intruder as well. Go forth with extreme caution. Hmm. Let's be off.
Cortés.
Most impressive. 